smile. I no no honey no 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 you went honey no 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 honey no 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 went to me my hella nanta empty money empty mouth no you went honey no 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 honey no 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 But these 
noises were also uh, part of part of that was also listening, uh, listening to Munu Kakani, the wind spirit, uh, because uh, he would tell you when the seasons were changing. So they were always listening for those kind of uh, uh, things in the world, in their world. Uh, life on these lands were good. There was plenty to eat, plenty to be thankful for. And it was a paradise. Uh, the songs and the language were a reflection of that. Um, they were ever gentle, respectful, and honored. Uh, where speaking their native languages were forbidden. 
Uh, cruel policies used by these schools led to death privation and even death to the students um, uh, that were sent. And many of our fathers and mothers are the recipients of, of, that, uh, of that policy. For families here in Northern California, the two primary schools were um, Sherman uh, in uh, Southern California and Stewart in uh, Nevada. Uh, but it was not unheard of for them to go all the way to Pennsylvania. We had one relative, I think it was Walter or William Clark, that was sent to Pennsylvania. Uh, and that would be um, Carlisle, uh, where uh, Jim Thorpe went to school, if you know who Jim Thorpe is. He's one of our native heroes. <laughs> um, eventually, this attitude changed um, as uh, for the first people. Um, laws were enacted, and with uh, citizenship, uh, some of those laws could be uh, challenged. In a quote from an 1882 article of the Harper's Weekly, one biased observation recorded this. In the training school at Forest Grove, 100 young Indians between the ages of 5 and 20 are kept, well-fed, and well-clothed and happy. And as far as can be judged from appearances, quite as intelligent as a similar number of white youth. They came to the school with, from the prairies and the mountains dressed in blankets and moccasins with uncapped, uncut, unkept hair and as wild as young coyotes. They have already learned to sing like nightingales and work like beavers. It is remarkable that these young children of the forest are perfectly amenable to discipline and never break a rule. The boys learn how to uh, make boots and shoes. Uh, they know how to build houses and uh, perform various operations of agriculture. And the girls learn how to sew, darn, wash dishes, uh, keep house, iron, iron, all those kind of things. Uh, they attend uh, religious meetings and lectures and sing and pray. The singing, indeed, is a remarkable excellence. We agree with Captain Wilkinson that this is the best solution of, of the difficulty which confronts us in our dealings with the Indians. Let us then take the rising generation away from the evil influences which have surrounded their progenitors and trained them up to be useful and orderly members of society. Clearly, this was a, a one-sided um, remark, uh, very biased, uh, with uh, a picture showing how one race could domineer another race. Uh, but now the truth. In 1945, Bill Wright a Potwin Indian from the Cortina Rancheria, which is uh, on the east side of the, the mountains, um, was sent to the Stewart, uh, Stewart Indian School in Nevada. He was six years old uh, when he was sent. And he remembers that uh, when he was bathed upon going into the school, that they took kerosene to his skin and shaved all of his hair off. Um, uh, and he said that he lost not only his language, but also his native, uh, his native uh, name. I remember coming home and my grandma asked me to talk Indian to her, and I said, Grandma, I don't understand you. And, um, and she said, well, then who are you? And he says, well, his name was Billy. And the grandma says, your name's not Billy, your name is Tarun. He says, but that's not what they're telling me. So... A lot of bias going on. Even in my own family, my father uh, was sent down to Southern California to the school down there, and he was uh, made to feel so inferior that he took also bleach to his skin to try to, try to make himself more uh, acceptable. 